everybody so now in the previous video we saw how to separate date time month etc from a date time stamp variable right and we created all this code and we saw how to make use of this dt package and out of that we can utilize all these functions in this video we're gonna see how to find the difference between two dates in terms of days months years etc etc right so why is that important usually it happens whenever you want to calculate the term of loan you want to calculate date of birth you want to calculate how old the customer is which in terms of banking we usually call mob which is month on books so if you have to find all those things then in terms of that you require to all these uh, you require to perform all these operations so let's just have a quick view how can you do all these things very quickly in python or in fact you can say in pandas so here first thing which i'm going to start with is days finding the difference between this date and this date this is the transaction date this is current date which is today so today is 24th october when i'm making this video all right so here i'm just going to start with finding the difference in days right so here i will create a variable let's call it day diff and over here i would say df dot uh, in the parenthesis operator i i'll put both of the variable first one is current date and then out from current date i want to subtract the transaction date okay trend date df trend date and then let's see what happens when you do so so when you do so you see this is this kind of information which is coming over here right 228 days this means of time and all those things if you want to simplify this what you can do is you can divide it np dot time delta there is one function which is called time delta into this first argument you keep one and then over here what you can say is let's try if this works right so here day oops this is giving the error so here you just don't need to put n and just hit enter okay so here you got the difference is 228 point this is this, this if you just want to have it rounded figure so what you can do is you can just say round and just put this and last argument you can say zero now what you see is over here you see 229 days here you see the negative days why because this is the future date which is 7th november and this why how do i have this in my data because this is dummy data which i created using the faker library okay that you can see in the video link given to the description section now here we saw to find the difference between uh, two dates in terms of days now let's see how can you find the difference in terms of years so here what you or let's start with month month difference okay so for that you don't need to do much just replace this with m and here is what you get month diff now it says eight months here you see we have the month march and here we have the month october usually if you see this is becoming seven months right so but it is more than seven so it is more than 7.5 that's why it is rounding up to uh eight if you want to see that actual so what you can do is you can round it up to two digits right now if you see it is saying 7.51 that's why it was making it to eight same way if you want to find the difference in terms of years so what you can do is you can say year year diff and over here in place of d just put y and here is what you get right so here it says one year difference which is not actually now let's just put over here let's say three digit i want so what you see is 0 0.625 uh means it is half year approximately half year of difference all right so this is how you can find the differences between two dates in terms of days months and years what else that you would like to find put that into the comment section i'll make another video thank you very much for watching the video wish you good